Hello, hello, welcome to a new video. My name is Oliver and in today's video, we will visit Bangkok and I will take you to big street markets. Oh my God, flies all over. And I'm having some funny moments. <laughs> Why do I always have that? Now I have to go back down. We will walk around the city, try local food and even try the famous 7-Eleven toasties to see if they're really that good. It's gonna be very funny and a nice vlog. So are you ready? Let's go. All right, I'm at the airport of Barcelona working a little bit while waiting for my flight. And I'm flying with Etihad Airways with a layover in Abu Dhabi. Let's get the documents ready and board the plane. On the first flight, they gave us some nice chicken rice and I obviously had to take some pictures in the toilet. And on the second flight, they gave us pizza. Delicious. It's great to be back in, in Thailand. The accent, the cat, you know, it's so oh, nice. It's amazing. Oh. It is like an hour drive and I literally paid only eight euros for it. So it's so cheap. And I asked him to put on the radio because I always like it when I come to a country and I listen to the local radio You know you hear how they make the radio because I always listen to the Dutch radio even though I live in Spain So I like to see that So one hour to go and then we arrive at the amazing hotel, hopefully, and the pictures, it looks amazing. Let's see if it's really that amazing. Because I could use that after 14 and a half hour flight. My room isn't ready yet. I have to wait until noon and it's 9.39 now. I'm tired but not that tired because I slept for a good four and a half hours in the plane and it was really nice. So it just feels like I went to bed very late. I had a nice cup of coffee. They made me a delicious cappuccino. <laughs> I needed that. <laughs> All right, guys. Two, a one we have. Let's see. Oh my God. Why do I always have that? Now I have to go back down. <laughs> For some reason, my room keys never work the first time I try it. I always have to go back down. I already saw people laying at the pool, so I'm gonna check out that pool, yes. Okay, she reactivated it. Where am I going? Wait a sec. <laughs> Two, a one. Here it is. Two, a one. Yes. Oh, damn. Okay. I got two beds. Oh, that's oh, and a balcony. Let's check that out. Hit the pool where I'm gonna lay. Perfect. Drop my bags, go down. All right, well, I decided to go out today. I'm walking to a local market because I'm gonna grab a bite before I'm going to the pool because I don't want to settle myself there. And then in one hour, I'm getting really hungry because I'm a bit hungry, you know? I could eat something and then pack all my stuff and then go and stuff, but the pool is right here. <laughs> so I'll be there in a little bit, but first let's go to the market. And guys, it is hot. It is really hot and humid also. I think it's like 32 degrees. Oh my God, everyone is kind of sleeping. Some people are working. That's very dangerous. <laughs> well, I'm arriving in like two minutes or something. What the hell is this? Oh my god. Everything here is in Thai. Well, this not, but like all the food, like here. You see, everything is in Thai, but the prices, I'm like, I have no idea what it says, but okay. Let's just choose something. That, something that has um, pictures. She's bringing me now to another place to see if they have chicken. Okay, that was a failed attempt. They don't have chicken anymore and they're apparently closing, so. I have to look for another spot. Oh, perdona. <laughs> uh, where am I gonna go? I'm gonna look on Google Maps. Oh, I found something on the corner. It seems like they do have food, but probably everything is gonna be so spicy. Okay, they say that this is not spicy, yeah, yeah. but I'm a bit scared that it's not spicy for them, but it's very spicy for me, so we'll have to see. Oh my goodness, okay. They're very helpful though, but they don't speak any English, so. I'm trying to use Google Translate, but it's not really helping. Oh my God. Okay, she's getting me to rice. That's good. Nice. And this one, Limet Head, no? Awesome. Okay. This one too? 
Nice. Okay, I'll try that. <laughs> she told me that, so I've got to blame her if it's spicy. Okay, let me see. I have, it is 80. I have... Thank you. Kapung kap. Kapung kap. <laughs> All right. The moment of truth. The moment of truth. All right, guys. First bite. Here we go. To see if it's spicy or not. See if they've lied to me or not. <laughs> oh no. Not spicy at all. Okay, that's good. And the espinaca. Perfect. And this didn't even cost me two euros. I think I have to check. Wow. But they gave me a, a spoon and a fork, and I don't have a knife. Let's see. No, they don't have any knives. Well, okay. Looks so delicious. There she is. I have to tell her. When she looks, I'll tell her that it's really good. Oh. She's so cute. I can't believe working until you're literally so old. She's just doing everything. Everyone is helping her, you know? And they actually sell a lot of food, so they're doing quite a good business, but yeah. And then here on the street where people are working so hard, you pay 80 baht for a whole meal. Yeah, it's crazy. And it's delicious. And it's not spicy, it's amazing. But I want to tell her. She's not looking at me. Well, I'll tell her on the way out. Mm, I'm a happy man. Delicious. This is the kitchen. I don't even want to look at it, but this is the kitchen. <laughs> Okay, well, let's tell her. Thank you. Kapung kap. Thank you. Not spicy. Very good. Very good. Yes. Thank you. See, a lot. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. Kapung kap. <laughs> oh, so sweet. Look at her. Amazing. Well, now I'm going. Back to the hotel, because it's pool time. Yes. Nice one. All right. Bye, guys. I'm going to relax. I think I'll be good here until dinner. Just waiting here, chilling a little bit. All right, I'm freshly showered and now we're going downstairs to go out of the hotel to visit a night market. They have a lot of things there and because everything closes at nine, I have to go out and search for some food now. Because I remember last time that I was in Bangkok, I wanted to get some food like normal Spanish times, like between eight and nine, and everything was closing. I wanna have a proper meal. So I'm gonna look for something nice in the night market. So let's go. Okay, I'm getting closer to the market. I already see it there. It's crazy. Traffic is crazy. There's so many cars and police cars with only red light. They don't have blue light here, apparently. I don't know why, but yeah, it's a thing. It's here at the market. Ooh, it's busy. And I hope there's good food. Yes. Oh, the other side, there's also market. Oh, mama. Oh, what did they do to her? And this is like, this is literally caught my attention. Like, there's even flies on it. Like, what do you mean? Everyone is bumping into me. It's so busy. I don't understand how that meat can be outside. Not cool. That it's like 32 degrees still. It's crazy. I can't believe it. Oh my god. Flies all over. That meat must be rotting, right? Oh my god, and people still eat it. I still eat it because I order chicken and the chicken was probably hanging for like a week outside. 
or a few days, maybe a few hours. I don't know. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but it's it's crazy how it's just hanging there. And all that fish, it's not cool. It's not cool. Look at all these octopus and squid. We're not really used to eat these type of food, right? So, oh, this looks actually really nice. What is that? Wow. Amazing. Is that pad thai or something? Again, everything in Thai. I don't understand anything. I only know the price <laughs> and what it looks like. No idea what it is. Egg, maybe? Impossible. Well, here, sushi. <laughs> sushi. Yeah, I'll just have a look around and I'll see what I can get. <laughs> I mean, fresher than that, you cannot get it. Fish that is still alive while being sold. Like in Spain, we would only have the lobster and crabs that may be alive. But fish, I don't think you can buy fish alive in markets. These fish are literally breathing. Okay, so now let's go to the other side with the bridge. They don't have crossings here, like traffic lights, crossings. They just build a bridge every now and then and you can cross over the street, it's really funny. I didn't want to have anything on this market, so let's cross over to the other side to see if they maybe have some other things that I do want to eat. Now I gotta say, this doesn't really look any better, but let's see. I think it's banana season. They sell bananas everywhere. Oh, and here. Oh my gosh, these are not allowed in so many airports and places because they smell so bad. So many places have banned those fruits because they smell so bad and they disturb everyone, so. Let's see, I did not find anything else that I could eat other than bananas or coconut or like raw pork, but I don't even see a restaurant or something. It's all like on the street. I mean, it's okay, but I would like a restaurant. Like, there are no restaurants here. People don't go out for dinner or something. I don't know. The restaurants I see on Google Maps, they all close at 9. So, I'm not sure what to do. Okay, I, it seems that this is the end. <sighs> Guys, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think they say get lost in Bangkok, you know, and that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm trying to find... Oh, here are the pineapples. <laughs> Everyone has his own thing, right? Say the bananas, the coconut, the pineapples. Here come the mangoes. <laughs> nice. I'm trying to find something nice for myself other than a 7-Eleven toasty. To be honest, I don't really like the 7-Eleven toasties. I don't understand where the hype's coming from, but probably I had a bad toasty three years ago, so I gotta try it another time. Literally when I was about to give up, I saw this duck place literally next to the market, to the intersection where I came out. And it's nice because they have duck, so I'll just order the duck with rice. Because I don't really trust the water in these kind of places, right? So I would prefer the duck noodle, but I don't know, the water is a bit sketchy, right? So duck rice for tonight, perfect. All right, so this is what you get. Perfect, next to the street. Got some cats to this place. Amazing. Oh, well, let's see. All right. Let's try it. Nice rice again. Good duck. Wow. Oh. It's really good. Not too much duck though, so I'm curious to see how much I'm gonna pay for this, but it's not enough though for dinner, so I need to buy something else. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna go to 7-Eleven to see if I can buy some snacks and then just go home and chill. Perfect. I'm always so surprised how local shops set up their shops in front of the 7-Eleven. <laughs> and in each country they have different lace flavors. Look, barbecue, what is that? Oh my gosh. Lobster? What's that? Scallops. Ooh, that looks nice. Mala barbecue. Amazing. The lace is crazy here. 
Oh they even have sushi. I mean, I think Thailand is the craziest with different kinds of lace chips. In each country it's different, but Thailand has the most variations, so many options, and the weirdest ones also. Like sushi and mixed grill. Like what the hell? Alright, there it is. Everyone is talking about these apparently. Yep. Am I gonna do it? There's one that's cheaper, two bucks cheaper, and it comes with shredded pork. <laughs> How can with meat be cheaper? Oh well, ham is also meat, of course. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. I I actually don't want to try it. <laughs> Maybe I should. Should I? Oh. Okay, I'll do it. They are warming it up. I couldn't pay with card. The minimum was 200 bucks. I don't understand that because it's a 7-Eleven, it's a chain. My card didn't work for like four times. And I was like, is it working? And then they said, no, 200 bucks. But she was like looking at me the whole time, like staring at me like, what are you going to do? And I was just trying with my card, didn't work. I was like, just tell me you have to pay with cash. They didn't do that. <laughs> She's warming up my, my sandwich now. <laughs> I don't want it, but I'm going to try it just to see what this hype is about. Thank you. Gracias. So now I'm gonna walk nicely to my hotel and eat this sandwich, toasty, whatever. In Dutch it's called a tosti, so... So yeah, I'm gonna see. Okay, I'm gonna cross the bridge here. Wait, I'm just gonna sit down here and eat it. There's no one here anyways. Okay, alright. Um, this is it. This is a toasty. Oh my god, I feel so bad being in this nice country with delicious food and I'm gonna try this toasty, but whatever. This is not good. I don't even like ham. Like, what the fuck? I'll eat it and then I go home. <laughs> Great. Now I also know what the toasty tastes like. I, okay, here is a trash. Not really a trash can, but a trash bag, whatever. Tomorrow, actually in the morning, I wanna find myself a nice place to have a Thai massage. Cause my back hurts so much. I was like in so much pain during the flights that I had. Oh God. Well, I feel like accidents are not really happening here. It's like a split second, like one millimeter distance to get a real big accident. Tomorrow, Thai massage. And we're gonna go see a park and um, probably some temples also. So I'm gonna be excited for that. Now, as I said, walking home, just gonna chill a little bit. So tomorrow I will go out and find a place to have a Thai massage. I'll show you his techniques and if it's worth your money. <laughs> and I'm gonna suffer so much. I put the video here in the screen for you to watch next. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you there. Bye!